We are going to Stewart Peninsula. It is a neighborhood with a golf course on the outskirts of it. Let me make sure everything's good. This is recording. I'm just gonna make sure, guys, that I did click the GoPro to record, cause like, all right, it's good. <laughs> cause yesterday I uh, made some videos and it didn't. I forgot to hit the button. So, yeah, classic. All right, so I'm gonna be on uh, 423 Main Street here in the Colony. Gonna be going over this neighborhood in here. Stewart Peninsula, it's got a it's got a golf course at it. We'll go through it. Um, I won't really get to see a whole bunch of it just because it's kind of one road um, that leads into it. The uh, Lake Louisville is right on the outskirts of it. So some of these houses are lakeside. Uh, homes in this neighborhood range from, uh, I believe it was like three, I think the median was like 375, 400 in this neighborhood. And then like 1,600 to 4,000 square feet in most of these houses so gonna be a little bit older vibe than edgestone that you saw yesterday uh in my video or the video i uh, made yet a couple days ago with edgestone doing that those are like very new construction homes so uh, and then that's the thing with the colony the colony's got a little bit older areas but i'm also gonna go tour the tribute here in a couple uh couple days also and that's another community within the colony that also has a golf course at it just get on 423. So I'm turning on to 423. This would be like the main road you get on that leads you south down to 121. 121 is the uh, highway that, or the tollway that takes you out to Dallas North Tollway that can take you to downtown, but then it can also take you over to 35 as well. So, and now we're waiting on a light. I, can't, <laughs> I keep looking at the camera because I keep thinking I didn't hit record, but I did, so we're good. I just, I'm having PTSD now, guys. All right, turning on to North Colony. Like I said, south is 121. That's about 10 minutes away, like if you're waking up at like 8.30 or something to go to work uh, and commute, because there are a good amount of um, uh, stoplights throughout there. And then there's like a couple school zones. So we will pull into right here. As we enter the neighborhood, you got a fire station on the left, so, you know, gets too lit at the house well just know the the guys will be there quick to put it out so yeah these are the homes like i said a little bit older we got this house with like a built out patio it has like a built out patio with a screen in entryway that was weird all right so we're driving down north colony coming in here only a couple stop signs through the neighborhood no stop lights or anything Looks like they're rebuilding the road in here. I just, you know, I can tell by the cones. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I put some 3M tape. It's doing a little bit better, but now the tilt, now it's wanting to tilt down. See, I just went over a bunch of rocks and the camera didn't move that much. That's good. We're getting there. This is progress. All right, so these are just one way streets, uh, no outlet, because on the other side of it is the lake. So Lake Louisville is right there on the other side of it. Um, you can just walk right out and hop in if you want. I don't recommend it because, see now, now it's, like, yeah, I don't recommend it because it's all like a little swampy over there. But if you want to, you can dive in. The better part is like Safe Harbor is right down the street. I say right down the street, it's just down 423. And that's where you can like store your, your boat and whatnot, maybe. There's a little park down there with fountains. It's whatever, it's cool. I'm gonna take you guys over by the golf course. The road's kind of bumpy. Like I said, Colony's a little bit older. Yeah, just, this, this is just not working right now. All right, I'm gonna pull over and try to fix this. Camera, because it just keeps going more down. Just more down. 
maybe if I, maybe, oh, you know what? You know what we'll do? We're gonna undo this suction cup here. We're gonna pull into the elementary school. This would be the elementary school if you have kids that they would go to, right here within the elementary school. All right, I'm gonna pull it. It's just, it's just going more and more down. It's just, cause that, that's what I want y'all. Yep, that's exactly the camera view I want you guys to have. All right, we're up. I'm gonna take this off. And then we're just gonna go higher. So then maybe the angle of this. All right, I think I fixed it. All right, Lakeway, welcome to Lakeway Church. So it seems like there's a church in this neighborhood as well. So you got a church, you got an elementary school. I believe there's a middle school in here as well. And the Colony High School is just on the opposite side of 423 Main Street. And it's by one, it's a further down by 121. Is this not good? Is this not good enough? The struggle's real, guys. The struggle's real. And then here's the community pool. You can't see it, it's on the right side. I'll pull into the parking lot. You guys can see the parking lot or whatnot. Okay. Nope, still, still, still not working. All right, I don't... We're gonna figure this out together. put it super high and then we just let it oh that's not gonna that that's none of that's gonna work oh, oh god what a debacle my life is a debacle right now <laughs> this th wait this angle's working but the freaking <laughs> oh we'll just you know what? We will just drive without a rear view mirror. Oh, what's this family doing? All right, I think this is gonna work. All right, we're back at it, back at the tour. We're gonna go by Stewart Peninsula. So here this left side, that's your community pool, got a little park on the outside. Here are some smaller homes. So these small ones are gonna range for like two, I saw one going for 285. You probably could find some fixer uppers within here. Uh, these homes were built um, early 90s. Uh, and I shouldn't have done that. That's just gonna mess that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Right. Yeah, built in the early 90s, a little bit later than that too. On the opposite side of here, they got homes that were built even that are older than that. So you probably could find some good fix and flip deals on like Frisco where, you know, everything's new. So it's going to be hard. You're going to have a, you're going to also have a higher price point just because you're in Frisco. And I think, I think the colony would have a better price point if their schools were rated better. Um, but maybe that'll come, come in time. Because they definitely had a lot more money coming through the city with like Grandscape Shopping, which is just like five minutes away from here. That's like a whole bunch of retail stuff. And uh, there's a movie theater there as well. This is the golf course right, right on the lake. It's eight holes. It's like 25, 30 bucks to play at. Water is really high. So this, this course probably isn't that fun to play at right now. Yeah, I did this video yesterday and then I got home and figured out I just didn't hit the GoPro record button, so. It's fun. We're going around here. So that's where the golf carts are. Main office. Go play yourself a round of golf. Eight rounds, not bad. And then they got some lakeside houses that are right up in here too. looking at me. I don't know if it's because I got a whole bunch of camera equipment hanging out the side of my car. 
Or if it's because I'm breaking breaking their neck with the 370Z, you know? It happens. It happens to the best of us. You know what? What if I flipped it the other way? I flipped it upside down. We might have a winner. We'll see how it goes. And I think this is a good view, a good angle, something. So yeah, here's some more houses. I just kind of drive by. I'm, I, here we go. Let me, let me just drive down the street, show you guys. Listen to y'all can listen to the music. Nope. Can somebody? Anyone want to buy me one of these things? Because like every single one I buy is just not working for me. So the little suction cup things are the worst. Well, that, that, this, nope, that didn't work. Try that way. Let's go back out this way. Yeah, truck is live. Oh, we'll go down by the park. Down this way. This is within the neighborhood. And every and there's a Walmart right down the street, so you got shopping and whatnot. Might have just ran that. I'll be. There you go. So you just go through those gates, and then you can go right down into the water. That's why there's no real point in going in behind your house. There's not really good access. They have everything like cleared out because there's all these high trees and whatnot. So, and then there's some walking trails that go back in through there. And then, so this, uh, this is on the outskirt of the neighborhood. Uh, right, literally like right by Lake Louisville. So look up Lake Louisville guys. Um, there's other neighborhoods all around it. I mean, all the way on the other side of Denton. So. You know, if you're if you want to be by the lake, but you don't want to be in the Frisco colony area, God, that fan was just going nuts. That fan was getting. Then I would say go on the other side of Denton, Little Elm. I guess Little Elm's more north of here, but. Colony is not the only city that's connected with Lake Louisville, so that's all. That's all I'm trying to say. Here's the elementary school. I know I pointed that out earlier, but um, and then we'll just make our way back out of here. So hopefully, this gives you a good look at Stewart Peninsula, you know, if you're someone who likes golf, if you're someone who uh, likes the lake, if you're someone who uh, doesn't have kids and really care about school districts, um, this is probably the neighborhood for you. Uh, if you do care about school districts and you want to be on the lake, just go a little bit north into Frisco. Frisco has like the highest uh, rated school uh, district in Texas. I think they were like number nine or number two. I don't know. They, they were high. So.
All right, I'll do a final drive through right here and then I'll probably end this video. This should give you a pretty good idea over what Stuart Peninsula is like. If you're moving here or you're thinking about selling your house and you're in the Frisco area or you're, you know, you're in the Dallas area you want to sell and you want to move um, more north, contact me. Daniel at the Home Expert Team. I'll try and answer your questions. But yeah, this is it for Stewart Peninsula. We're headed back out. So it's kind of one main road in, takes you all the way back to all those things. I don't know if I'd want to live off this street. It'd be kind of busy and noisy, but to each its own, man. All right, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert Team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.